Okay, taking a look at factoring here and, and what this means for us from an algebraic or mathematical standpoint. When we have numbers that we multiply together, say we look at 5 times 6 is equal to 30. 30 here is what we call the product. And that's what we get when we multiply two numbers together. The 5 and the 6 are called factors. And 30 to multiply them together to reach an end product. So when we want to factor a number, what we do is we break it down into the numbers that would be multiplied together to reach that conclusion. For example, if we have oh, the number 40, what we could say we can break this down and say, well, 40 could be equal to 2 times 10. It could also be equal to 4 times 10. It could also be equal to 5 times 8. So when we look at this, these are five different factors of food. Now, when we talk about things such as prime factorization, in prime factorization, what we're going to do is we're going to factor factor numbers down to prime numbers. Remember, prime numbers are numbers that have no factors other than one in themselves. Um, for example, the number seven. If we wanted to factor seven, we can only factor that down to seven and one. There's no number numbers that are uh, products of seven or factors of seven other than one and seven. So in prime factorization, we want to reduce numbers down as far as we can. So an example prime factorization. Let's look earlier. We did 40 here. Let's look at 40 again. And a lot of times we use what they call a factor tree for this. So in prime factorization with 40, we might look at this and say, okay. We made 40 is 4 times 10. And we can break down 4 also into 2 times 2. And we can break down 10 into 2 times 5. Now none of these numbers, 2's and 5, have any factors other than 1 in themselves. So these are prime. So we would say prime factorization of 40 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Breaking down numbers into the factors that make up a product is really uh, what we're looking at here when we factor. So there's a little little warm-up, little tuner on factoring. Uh, hopefully this helps, and we'll see you next video.